star. I have to go after my planet now. There could be a secret buried underground for you to move to my city. Thanks for all the help. Got it. Thank you, Doc, for helping me too. I hope there are survivors in your planet. Hey guys, Phantom Zetonis X18 here with another video. Taking another um, Ultraman Star Explain video. Now, if you're wondering what an Ultraman Star Explain video is, it's pretty much me explaining whatever happened in Ultraman Star seasons and stuff like that, and to explain the overall confusion you guys may have with the series overall. Now, let's get on with today's video. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about whatever happened to Ultraman Diamond after the events of Ultraman Star Season 2. Now, let's get on with the video. If you do not remember who Ultraman Diamond is, uh, I, will, I, I don't blame you. Um, Ultraman Diamond was only used in Ultraman Star Season 2. And yeah, he was more of a supporting character or a background. Not of like a background character, but more like a secondary Ultra. Like Ultraman Agil, Astra, and uh, Victory. And yeah. Now, let's get on with the video. Now, um, his origins is quite... Uh, let me explain his origins. His planet was in like a uh, near the center of um, the galaxy, and inside there's like in near the uh, center of the galaxy there's a mini um, a portal that goes to a mini dimension which has only which has only one planet, and that's the planet of Ultraman Diamond where he came from, and this planet was sadly like uh, poor, meaning that the only thing that's keeping the the planet like structures like apart or stay intact was because of diamonds and minerals such as gold, iron, and diamond and iron and all that stuff. Pretty much uh, precious um, rocks that are in our world. But the thing is, for Ultraman Diamond's homeworld, those structures help um, support the entire planet in place. Now, th over there they have like a strict, um, they can only mine the surface um, iron, gold, and diamonds out from the surface, not deeper within the planet's core. Because if, you, if they dig out the diamonds and iron and gold from the inside of the planet, it will cause some surface damage, such as earthquakes and uh, rising uh, mountain levels and stuff like that. And then that's when Mold Spectre invaded. Um, Mold Spectre invaded Ultraman Diamond's um, homeworld because there is a location or there's a power sense of the secondary Ultras in this mini dimension, but Mold Spectre failed to find it. And he just gives up, but at least he had a satisfaction of killing millions of innocent lives in that planet, except for Ultraman Diamond himself. Now, Ultraman Diamond himself was supposed to look like um, a long, pretty much a regular human with a white mask. And I, I, I was originally going to use this in the series, but sadly, I, I have many plans for season two, and I'll get, in, and I'll get in with that at the end of the video. Now, yeah, that's his origins. His homeworld was invaded. He had the powers of the secondary ultras to avenge him and his people, and that's when he follows Mold Spectre down to Earth, where Mold Spectre sends out Red King to uh, pretty much kill Ultraman Star, and Red King did manage to break Ultraman Star's bones by tail slapping him in his human form, and that's when Ultraman Diamond went on Earth and helps um, Xandrius, Mother Xandrius, to beat Red King. Now after that, Ultraman Diamond pretty much became like a supporting character next to Star, more like a secondary ultra. I was gonna develop him a bit more to have more speaking role, but unfortunately, those those scenes got scrapped, and I ended up not getting like you know the voice actor to say these type of um you know voice lines and stuff like that. So yeah, it's my fault. I had many plans for a season two, and I ended up not using it. And yeah, Diamond was just used as a secondary ultra, more like a supporting character, and he did help a lot. He did. He used some of the powers of the secondary ultras, but not all. And at the ne near the end of the series, that's when Ultraman Diamond and Star were struggling to fight Mold Spectre and Kiryu, as well as Shadowboard and Megatron. But after Ultraman G shows up and helps them, that's when um, Ultraman G, like you know, was able to um, help uh, Star and Diamond to beat up Mold Spectre. And after Ultraman Star beats Mold Spectre. Jida was proud of them. He went fly. He flew back to his world, or flew back home. Ultraman Diamond told Ultraman Star that he will find more survivors on his planet. He believes there are survivors, but he has to go and check, and he has to leave Earth and go back to his home world. And Ultraman Star wishes him luck to find any survivors. 
and, af and after Ultraman Diamond flew off, like flew back to his homeworld, that was the last thing he was ever seen in Ultraman Star Universe. But don't worry, I still have the figure. I still have a, I haven't used him in like years. I can't believe it's been years. And yeah, haven't used him, but I do plan to like make him uh, make a mini series of him, or even a mini series like in general, not like an Ultra Fight series or even a, a mini series. Pretty much a mini series, but it's not an Ultra Fight series. I was planning to give him an Ultra Fight Diamond series, but I ended up deciding to go with the Ultraman Diamond mini series. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And yeah, that's pretty much Ultraman Diamond uh, appearance so far. We covered his origins and his appearance. Now, the biggest question is what happened to him? A lot of people think that he died. Uh, not a lot of people, but one person uh, thought, think he is dead or something like that. Which is absolute false, and I'll tell you what happened to him. As like he said, he went back to his planet to look for any survivors, meaning that he's still remaining there. But um, I, I did have like a video like finished and recording of Ultra Fight Diamond where it has Diamond fighting some monsters on his planet. So therefore, his planet is in danger. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll make a mini series, or maybe I'll make um either um, a short video showing what happened to Ultraman Diamond after that but I'm explaining to you guys whatever happened to him so he's still alive he's just in his home world at the moment fixing it and looking for any survivors so yeah guys that's what happened to Ultraman Diamond in the Ultraman Star Universe now let me get into some facts about Ultraman Diamond when I first uh, created Diamond I think of this uh, random patterns around him his, um, his red part uh, that's uh, on the sides of his body it was inspired by Bo Kenjar suits, or Operation Overdrive suits, how the color is on the side of the body. And last but not least, the head the head design has a red uh, hexagon, or half hexagons on the top of his head. Those were inspired by Alien Guts, or Alien Guts Girl from Kaiju Girls. And lastly, the reason why I call him Ultraman Diamonds because of the diamond shapes on his knees and as well as his arms. But you might be wondering, the, old, the Star Ultras have that symbol on their arms and legs. So is Ultraman Diamond considered a Star Ultra? I would like to say, n I'm gonna have to say no. It's because he came from a different planet. He came from a mini dimension in the, in the, near the center of the galaxy. So therefore, he's not Star Ultra. If he was a Star Ultra, he would have stayed with the gang. Like Spy Star, Doctor Star, uh, Sword Star, Psy Star, and, and um, Star F. He would have been on Earth still with Ultraman Star to fight against Black Star. But like I said, he, he had to go back to his planet and like fix it and stuff like that. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. All that will be linked down below. And yeah guys, I'll see you all in the next video. And before leaving this video, let me know what you think of Ultraman Diamond. Was he a good character? Or was he a not so good character? Oh yeah, another fact about Ultraman Diamond, he was supposed to have this golden armor with the powers of all secondary Ultras. Similar to Super Mega Force Silver or Gokai Silver's um, gold mold. And pretty much like that, that's what Ultraman Diamond is supposed to be. Uh, Ultraman version of Gokai Silver or Super Mega Force Silver. And yeah guys, uh, that's the last fact of the day of Ultraman Diamond. And yeah, hope you guys uh, commented what you think about Ultraman Diamond in the video down below. And yeah guys, see you all next video.